everybody doing out there? All right. Everybody good? Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, my name's Roy John, a.k.a. Simon. Your poetry name. <laughs> Got it. And I'd like to thank uh, Roger and Shavonna, Ms. McMarkin, and all of you for inviting me out. This has been a uh, great thing for me to be here today to present one of my poems. I always try to have a, a poem that has something to do with the, uh, the timing or the situation, whatever happens. And since this is the month of May, which is uh, the month that Memorial Day comes in, this is uh, Memorial Day is a day that is set aside for all our fallen service men and women, where we honor them. And so at this time, I would like to read a poem uh, about the uh, a soldier, and it's called The Fossil. This poem de depicts the soldier's mindset, his demeanor, as he's going through war as well as after war. So now I will read for you The Fossil. A Fossil. Though it is small, cramped, and claustrophobic, can contain a whole universe all of its own. There's one way in and one way out, a peephole existence. Now, the foxhole's purpose is to have the soldier's back protected by friendly fire. But one can never really. Sure. Now when the bombs are bursting all around you and darkness is your only shield, the false soul can play many tricks in a soldier's mind. And when you're fighting side by side and the bodies are falling like tall cut weeds, you react and you're okay. When the bullets are whistling past your head and zinging through the air, you understand what's going on. And you fight. And when the thundering sounds of gunpowder and bombs are blowing off, and you smell the gunpowder smoke in the air, you use your instincts and you survive. Silence brightens when you can hear nothing. <laughs> when the soldier can hear nothing but the sound of his heartbeat as it thumps and beats louder and louder and louder and louder within his chest until his in all the way up into his throat and his parched mouth and he sighs and nothing's there, no sound. That's when the fight begins. That's when the fight begins in the soldier's mind. I've seen this happen on too many occasions because once the fight is over, out there, it still remains in here. And the soldier must fight the war, not from the enemy out there, but the enemy 